y'all welcome back to my channel i'm chris and here we talk about business candle making and how to boss up and in today's video we're talking candle making we're talking about why your wig is a mushrooming what mushrooming is and why your candle is sweating so let's get into it So if you don't know what mushrooming is, I'll insert a photo of a candle that is mushrooming. And if you've never seen your candle sweat, in case this ever happens, I'll insert some photos here as well. So first things first, mushrooming is basically a, a collection of carbon, which creates a big ball at the tip of it. This happens, one, because you should be trimming your wick after every burn. People often forget that candles do need maintenance as well. So if you've never seen a wick trimmer, you should invest in one. A wick that creates a ball at the top. And it's normal because most people forget to trim their wig. You have to make sure that you're trimming your wig often. And mushrooming can also happen if you have too much fragrance oil in your candle. That creates that carbon buildup at the tip. Most candles with cotton wicks do experience mushrooming. Some experience mushrooming on a larger scale. Some have mushrooming on a smaller scale, meaning that the ball isn't as big. I have seen some humongous black ball tips. This sounds so, this sounds so dirty. You have this big black mushroom top and you're trying to figure out if this is normal or not. Mushrooming can cause fires. If you are not properly trimming your wick and you're not educating your customers on trimming their wick, it's a problem. What I like to do when I am sending my thank you cards to my customers is always include a guide on how to care for a candle. One, it helps make me a little less liable because I am letting them know how to properly care for their candle, the do's and do nots. You know, we do put our warning labels at the bottom of our candles, but how often have you looked at the bottom of your candle unless you bought it and was taking it out of the bag and it was upside down. Realistically, people are paying attention to that. But if people um, have purchased a candle and are supporting your business, they are more likely to read a thank you card, read some of the things that come along in the package um, to understand your company, your brand. And also, it's great to include some informational tips for them as well because you would be surprised how many people don't know how to care for a candle properly. I know before I started making candles, I definitely did not know how to properly care for my candle and the risks that I was putting myself in by not properly maintaining my candle. So mushrooming is something that you should educate your customers on, but also educate yourself on and understanding the normal mushrooming that may happen with cotton wicks naturally, but also when it could become dangerous and, and why it is becoming dangerous. Oftentimes, people forget that you your candle your candle is not dangerous because it's a candle and it smells good. But candles are dangerous. It's an open flame. It can catch fire, and we don't want to downplay that because it is important and we need to educate the people that are purchasing our products because we don't want to be held liable. Also, I would like to say that all of the information that I am talking about right now i'm not a licensed professional i ain't a lawyer i ain't know nothing i'm just trying to help a player out okay so i'm just trying to give you some tools to help educate your customers and also educate everybody else who may not know the proper way to care for a candle and how to own the candle because candle fires happen so the next thing that i want to talk about is sweating if you have never seen a candle sweat good for you good for you girl you know something right but if you have seen a candle sweating it may it might make you sweat a little bit too because you're like what what, what, what is happening it looks a little dangerous it looks like it's not supposed to be going on um and if your candle is sweating that is a sign that you have used too much fragrance oil for your particular wax if you do have a candle that is sweating 
It is a little bit dangerous because that means that the fragrance oil is seeping through the wax, which could cause a fire. If you have a lot of sweating, that is something to be mindful of and something that you may want to consider if you should sell or not. Because what you don't want to do is sell a faulty candle that people can hold you liable for. Don't forget that you may be held liable for these products that you sell because they are inherently dangerous due to the fact that you do light them on fire. So you want to prevent as much as you can, as many issues as possible by making sure that one, you are paying attention to your proportion of fragrance oil to wax, reading up, learning about your wax and understanding the amount of fragrance oil that your particular wax can hold. I personally use soy wax and a little bit of paraffin wax and those waxes can hold anywhere between 10 and 12% fragrance oil. There are some waxes that cannot hold that much. And also, just because your wax can hold that much, doesn't mean it needs that much fragrance oil in order to be fragrant. Um, also, if you are dyeing your candles and you sell colored candles as well, you may also want to be mindful of how much fragrance oil you're using. So just be mindful, I personally don't use colors like that so I don't know nothing about that okay but it is something to be mindful of and it is something to pay attention to and be mindful of when you are selling your candles if you're making candles for yourself your house and your business do what you want but I have researched and I have found that candle sweating is not normal and if you are experiencing your candle sweating that it could be because your fragrance oil load is too strong for your wax. So, those are the two main things that I wanted to talk about today because educating your customer is something that isn't necessary, but it's only helpful to them, helpful to you, and it helps them understand your product a little bit more too. Um, and candles in general, like people, you'll be surprised how hyped people get when they learn about how to actually take care of a candle. I know I was, I was like, oh, I need a snuffer, I need a trimmer, what, a little scooper? I got that, let me get that. Um, so you'll be surprised at how hyped people get when you educate them on how to properly care for their candle and also how to help their candle last a little bit longer than it normally would. Um, and ultimately, nobody likes soot. Soot is that dark, clouded smoke that stains whatever is above your candle. And nobody wants that. And by eliminating these things that I talked about in this video, it will ultimately help lower soot. But like nobody likes that black cast around the sides of uh, in the perimeter of their candles. So by educating them, it allows them to better understand the product that they have and how this is like universal candle like educational tips and it's not just exclusive to yours. So I will leave you guys with that. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. It truly does help me um, continue on my journey and on YouTube. So. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.